up on music featuring your main man, Tony the Sugar Baggy. It is me. I am your main man, the Sugar Baggy. Tony, how's it going, everyone out there? I'm hoping you're having a good week. And well, we are at episode 71, where tonight we are going to ask a couple questions, going to go through some bands, going to do this to do that. We're going to realize maybe sometimes bands shouldn't book certain places to play and a lot more uh, to finish out this month of May. We are inching into the beginning of summer. And I thought, well, what cooler way to start than to wear my Teen Wolf jersey brought to you uh, by my main man, Magnificent Stan. Sent me this. It really, really uh, is amazing. Because uh, every time I put it on, I want to do the song that was in Teen Wolf, Big Bad Wolf. Do, do, do. All right, uh, let's get started. Uh, recently, um, uh, a little bit of a, a show went down, a, a couple of shows went down at the old Salt Shed. A little band called Knock Loose, and they played with Show Me the Body, Loathe, and Speed. Okay, we were on the scene. Um, and by we, our main man, always, always checking out the, the, the cool, the cool, 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 cool stuff. Andrew, um, he, uh, gave us a little bit of a lowdown here on this first show. Let's, let's get started with some of these awesome, amazing clips from, uh, this recent concert. This is the very first band that played Speed. Well, I don't know what happened there. What's going on here? Oh, I see what happened here. I see what's going on here. There's a little bit of an uh, a little bit of a technical difficulty here. Give me a give me a second. But that being said, um, speed is uh, definitely, from all indications, really really awesome. They're uh. Lumped into other hardcore bands, I guess, from what um, Andrew was telling me. So uh, definitely came all the way from Australia. Um, really, really awesome. Because also, in, in a coincidence, in another whole different situation, um, they released a brand new song yesterday, which uh, which is cool. Because you're looking into this, and you're looking into that, and you're saying to yourself, wow, these guys are, are we're, we're, we're getting the firsthand news on these guys, and well, they are releasing music as we speak, as we're doing the show. So obviously all really, 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 really cool um, to that degree is to always be doing a show like this. And then as we're doing it, learning and finding out that this band is releasing new music, um, which is, well, what we look for. Here is that awesome, amazing clip from Speed. <laughs> Wow, so that guy looks definitely awesome and looks like he's ready to rock. Um, the show that they put on, though, um, was really, really, really good. Um, uh, just just definitely um, from, from the description, smiling, uh, having a great time up there. Um, definitely awesome. Um, next up was this band called Show Me the Body. Like that name. Um, definitely uh, just, just just you know you're you're out there at the salt shed and you're you're saying to yourself here i am standing there watching show me the body um definitely uh awesome 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 to be uh what's the word i'm looking for um to be able to see some of these bands that are that are that are playing um and salt shed's got a really really good lineup of of, of artists that we're going to go through here in a moment that are um that are playing here but here's a, a little bit of the show me the body What I liked about that clip is that you got one dude who's sitting there and he's playing like almost like just like a three piece drum. You got a guy doing a little bit of some sampling. Um, definitely awesome to uh, see see that being um, th that that going on. Um, next up was Loathe, a band all the way from the UK. Um, it sounded like this is kind of when the show started to really pick it up as far as uh, moshing um, going on, and was told that. 
it was a little bit more tougher to get start getting some of these clips. <laughs> Man, um, looks like a definitely a show that you'd want to be at um, because definitely the energy in the crowd. I like the lights there of the red lights, but uh, we've we've come all the way to a knock to loose. And if you're not familiar with who who uh, knock loose is, um, they are a band that has actually been blowing up pretty big. Um, they've been around now for over 10 years. 2013 is when they got started, um, but they are uh, definitely just came out with a brand new album. Okay. You won't um, go before you're supposed to. Honestly, I heard this and and it's, it's, it's really, really heavy. And honestly, um, just their show here. looks like it's something that you're going to want to go and see. <laughs> heavy, really heavy. Um, all around it says uh, from it's a, I mean, when you're playing what, what's called a um, definitely a, a two uh, a two um, what's that a two two gig show. You're saying to yourself, uh, you know, a lot of people wanted to see this, and uh, I was I was just honestly when I was listening and, and being blown away. Um, I, my mistake. It was only a one a one a one show. I don't know why I thought it was two. Um, I thought I saw multiple people. On multiple days, it must have been Paul posting uh, later, later stuff. That's why I was like, I thought it was only one because if it was two, definitely would have uh, been able to go because I actually got the call. Unfortunately, I was at work. If I would have been able to skate out, I would have been at the show um, and definitely would have loved to get into that uh, pit. Um, but uh, go check these guys out. Putting on quite the set. 16 songs. Um you know, um, what more can you really, it looks like they're digging into each one of their albums pretty, pretty deep. Um, but the salt shed is definitely, um, is, 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 is having some, some really good stuff coming through there. Um, Marcus King going to be coming up this Sunday on his mood swings tour. Um, Kren begin, um, it definitely is a, um, is a band to uh, definitely what's the word I'm looking for? Um, definitely, definitely check out. Um, Krungbin, there we go. Krungbin, I wanted to get that correctly. Um, because I like these guys a lot and I've listened to all their albums, and to this day, I still um, have not uh, known how to say that. But they got three shows coming up Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, June 7th. 8th and 9th. Um, John Batiste, June 13th. Uh, Wilco uh, with Cut Worms to the Infinity, um, June 14th and June 15th. Salt Shed. Check these shows out. Um, I'm really wanting to get out on July 4th. I don't know if I will be able to because of family observ uh, observations, obligations. Um, I wish these were family observations that we can observe seeing the great My Morning Jacket live, but... Uh, just throughout the summer, you know, Iron and Wine, July 8th. Um, you win of uh, 311. They're coming to town again, July 21st with AWOL Nation and Neon Trees. Um, that one might be kind of cool if you're into any of that. A sold-out show with all-time low. That's kind of cool to uh, see bands selling out this venue. Um, you go a little bit deeper into um, August. You got everything from Umphreys McGee, August 23rd um to uh bikini kill august 30th so uh keep on the lookout for this salt show they are always always dropping awesome awesome shows and just really 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 awesome doing awesome things um what wasn't awesome recently sadly was that there was some uh concert cancellations and by concert cancellations a band had to cancel their whole arena tour which is a little shocking because well they've been playing arenas now for for uh, a few years but uh, I guess they uh, have to downsize venues. Um, um, they're saying they want to deliver everyone a little bit more of an exciting, intimate experience. But my question is, is then why didn't we start this way? Why didn't we start with this exciting, intimate experience? Um, tickets 
for this show with the Black Keys. Uh, this current tour that is canceled were over a hundred dollars. A little bit shocking um, that a band is going to be uh, uh, charging, um, you know, that big of a thing. But they were trying to play Madison Square Garden, the United Center here in Chicago, where the Bulls play. Um, kind of just a little bit unusual that uh, a band is canceling, you know, a huge entire tour. Um, Head and Heart was opening up for them too. Great little opener. But I think generally what ends up happening is 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 that uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? People just aren't into maybe I don't want to say the Black Keys. They're not into paying a hundred dollars at a huge because some band sounds they just don't sound good in a big arena. And I don't know if the Black Keys. My problem is is the Black Keys is a two man band and they have to bring in more people to fill out the sound. So you know you're saying to yourself uh, what. Uh, self how could this be um how could this ever um what's the word uh what's the word i'm looking for um fly you know how could this go on how could this happen where a band will have to um do that but uh you know you know after going through some um some other tours it, it's it's kind of crazy how many tours have uh had to be canceled, you know, because it's not uh, it's not unusual that a band has to be uh, cancel some shows. Like uh, recent, uh, within recent years, you know, even a band like Lincoln Park, you know, sadly they had to cancel for different reasons. But when you're you're going and you're canceling shows um, for the reasons of 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 the Black Keys or Lincoln Park, it's it's understandable. You you've lost a member. The Black Keys, they just have a new album out. And we're, we're going and we're downsizing venues? I don't know. You know, it, it's it's um, it's it's, it's unusual um, that, that this ends up happening, you know, especially when you've played venues before. But honestly, fans, it seems to have enough sometimes um, because of this. Um, what to uh what's the word i'm looking for you know it's just oh you know it, it's a crazy 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 thing because <clears throat> there are people who did buy concert tickets to this uh concert because looking going through some of the shows uh before they were canceled and they were showing some of the seats seats were bought so how do you feel if you're uh um you know um uh, what's the word I'm saying? You you bought the ticket. You bought the ticket prices, and uh, you you paid these prices, and now um, you can't uh, you can't um, you know get into it. Uh, you can't get get through. For me. festivals recently have um, um, been canceled. Jay Z's got a Made in America festival that happens out in. Um, uh, it was held in supposed to be held in Philadelphia recently. Um, canceled, and this is Jay Z uh, due to low ticket sales. Um, but again, lower those ticket prices, play a little bit more of an intimate venue. Like they've come through a couple times on recent uh, memory for the Q101's um Christmas concerts that they do. Um, the nights we stole Christmas that usually happen at the Aragon Ballroom, and uh, they've played those shows. And Aragon Ballroom to United Center. Huge step up, and I don't remember those Aragon Ballroom shows selling out at like a great pace. So I don't know who their who their tour management was that decided that they should do this. It's just a shame that you have to cancel it, and you feels like you got a little bit of uh, cake on your face. Who does not have cake on his face, and it's just honestly, if you really want uh, uh, something that is new and is awesome, check out this new Lenny Kravitz album. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, did not have this on my bingo card um, in the uh, in, in in this in this current year. Blue Electric Light is the name of this brand new album, and honestly, I was not expecting this. Um, first half of the album, um, I haven't made it to the second half yet because honestly, just started this the other day. And uh, track number one, it's just another fine day in the universe of love, a six minute and nineteen second 
just a funk jam. If you're looking to go on a, a little bit of a ride, um, these first five songs are going to uh, do it for you. And if you love Prince, like I do, uh, next track, TK421, really awesome track. Honey, really awesome. Uh, track four, got Lenny digging into that awesome guitar riffs. It's a little heavy uh, for, for, for some Lenny. Paralyzed. Um, the, the track, um, Human. Um, honestly, the song is really, really catchy. And uh, he did play this live. I uh, did catch it the other day um, when I was going through and researching um, this new album. Um, played it on The Tonight Show. Um, if you want to go ahead and check that out, it's on YouTube. Really, really, really great. Um, great, 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 great work. Craig Ross, who has been playing with uh, Lenny Kravitz for, uh, for, 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 for a little bit of time. He's been playing with uh, Lenny Kravitz. Uh, since the since 90, 91. Um, he's played guitar on every one of a lot of pretty much a lot of Lenny's. I don't want to say every single recording, but he's 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 prevalent, which in and on this album, he his prevalence is again, it is it is it is it is it is, it is huge and uh just really shocking. Wasn't expecting to talk about uh new Lenny Kravitz at all on the hookup on music, but uh also very very cool to uh see an artist who he just turned 60 um come out with an with an album like this that uh is catchy okay and also what i liked is digging through the album um you know lenny's doing everything he's singing he's playing the moog he's got the timpani rhythm guitar claps cowbell drum machines chimes solo guitar you know piano having b3 organ um, Mellotron, maracas, bongo drum, synthesizer, bass. I mean, am I missing anything or if I've repeated anything? It's just so amazing, you know. And Craig Ross, he fills out everything else. So uh, really cool as you're listening to this, just to think of all the artistic um, that went into this by uh, one Lenny Kravitz. So check it out, um, you know, because honestly, when I hear any artist uh, go in and, and, and um, do the drums, Recently, not a great album. I mean, we're not here to talk about Van Halen 3, but uh, I was hearing recently that uh, Alex wasn't doing so hot due to a divorce right around this time. So Eddie played all the drums on Van Halen 3. Um, wasn't something that I was expecting, but uh, again, Eddie could play the drums, I guess, also. And that's what's cool is when an artist is multiply uh, envisioned in multiple different uh, in instruments. Just really, 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 really cool. Um, as is the dead. The dead and company were uh recently at uh what's that called? The sphere. And uh honestly, I wish I could have attended this of all the things that I've missed or haven't attended, and there's still more dates. Okay. Um, this is one that I really wish that I would have been able to uh, attend. Um, coming up again this weekend. I guess I can get on a plane and fly. Um but what I think is just really awesome with this whole sphere thing, they played, um, Fish has played, um, the uh, U2 has played, the visuals. You're going to this sphere and you're looking to see some good visuals, listen to a great sound system. This has it. You know, this honestly, um, you could also go in and check out some really awesome per performance footage um all over the internet on this and see just kind of cool the uh what they were thinking or of adding into all of this definitely find it to be very very cool um and i reached out recently uh, just online into a little bit of uh well who else uh who would you like to have come to um this sphere got a got a wide variety of different answers you know, you, you think of who is visual artist that could uh, play the sphere and make it work. Tame Impala seems to be one that somebody had had said. Um, you know, you don't want to go with the minimalistic, or maybe you do. You know, maybe it'd be cool if back in the, I mean, I'm not even going to think about artists who are still around. Let's think of artists in the past. What would the Ramones, what would a Ramones show look like at the sphere? You know what I mean? What would Nick Drake look like at the at the sphere? Something a little really, really chill, like you just got like cool raindrops going. Um, but the dead, 
they uh they had some really cool visuals you know they had everything from old cool concert photos uh concert posters um they had where it, like it's like opening up and it's like sunshine coming through they had um really awesome was the wall of sound from the 1970s that was cool fish uh they were awesome it was like you were at the bottom of the sea in one song definitely definitely very 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 cool as the sphere continues you know you wonder who else are they going to be able to get to fill this place and i don't think it's going to be a problem um because it seems to be all the bands that have come through there have been a success no empty seats but you know you're still curious you know, with the dead and, and and company coming through there, you know, this is a band instead of same with fish, they do different sets every single night. Um, which is actually cool that they could still do this many different sets and be able to do this many different uh the way things look. Um, definitely switching it up. You know, you wonder, you know, what would something a little bit heavier look like in there? Maybe like Metallica or you know. It, it's crazy to imagine not that anybody would want kiss at their age to play but kiss back in the 70s and something like the dome really kind of do really cool visuals make it a, a, a 3d type of experience um definitely something that i would say is a uh would be a treat you know it's cool to see something new like this happen and it's cool to see where will the future of the sphere go um it's also cool that uh people seem to enjoy it you know so it's something new that hopefully maybe will stick around um uh, supposedly the sound system in there is incredible so all visuals aside music is 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 why people go to shows yes the visuals are awesome but the sound in there is supposedly really 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 awesome so curious to see where that uh where that kind of goes um you know going forward in the um in the sphere category but you could sit here all day and think of bands that could be playing in there and even ones that would be humorous um personally i uh i, I made a joke of weird al imagine weird al coming at you from all different angles inside the sphere that would be really 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 cool but uh you know, let's 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 really quick here. What we're going to start doing um, is start talking about different producers on a regular basis. And tonight we got started with a little bit of Robert John Mutt Lang. You might not be familiar with him, but he's produced everyone from ACDC to The Cars to Foreigner to Maroon Five to Lady Gaga to Muse, all over the map on who he has produced, starting with Hocus. In 1972, The Swan, um, the first album that he has made that kind of, I am, I am really kind of, you know, you're looking into and you're saying to yourself, uh, is ACDC's Highway to Hell in 1979. I mean, I think this is kind of what breaks him out into doing things like Foreigners 4 and Def Leppard's High and Dry and Pyromania and Heartbeat City of the Cars. I mean, Back in Black. And Highway to Help, you know, really great uh, resume. I mean, he even did some Brian Adams. He did a little bit of, uh, which, which honestly, love, 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 love the Billy Ocean. Um, you know, he was the producer on Get Out of My Dreams and Get Into My Car. What a great song that is. Um, Nickelback, of course. Um, he, if you are not familiar with the uh, album by Muse, Drones, he was behind the... Um, what's the word i'm looking for um he's 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 prevalent you know um i didn't wasn't under uh, i was under the impression that i did not know that he's uh he did uh what's love got to do with it in 93 with tina turner he's done ecstasy this is pop okay um really 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 awesome um he's even co-written some tracks you know he co wrote uh, all the songs on Def Leppard's Pyromania and Hysteria. You're saying, oh, you know, he's co written songs with Brian Adams. Um, he's Heart, just a really, really, really big catalog and a really awesome producer. And um, Mutt, I like his nickname, Robert Lang is his real name, but Mutt, you know, and he's, he's from, you know, um, I, I don't even. 
again, I find this to be really, really awesome. Um, he's from a little town in Zambia um, called Mafulera, which is very, very cool. And also his origins seem to be a little bit from Johannesburg. Um, really kind of uh, just, 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 just awesome work. Awesome body of work. He was also married for a time to Shania Twain, produced some of her records, but uh, 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 just a well-versed producer. Okay, a well, well, well-versed producer. And um, also, if you wouldn't think it, but uh, recently we went ahead and uh, we watched this new documentary. It's on Disney Plus about the Beach Boys. It's a definite look at an American band. Um, I found it to be pretty interesting. I like the Beach Boys. Do find them sometimes to be a little bit too, you know, normal across the board. Not quite, you know, dark and deep. They do have some pretty cool albums that came out in the 70s, though, if you would get a chance to listen to. Holland is one of them. Sail on Sailor, big fans of that song here um, at the hookup. But uh, really interesting to hear their beginnings. Interesting how to hear everything and the way everybody ticked in the band. From lead singer Mike Love to Dennis Wilson and Carl Wilson and Al Jardine and Bruce Johnston and Glenn Campbell and everyone who came through the band. Okay. Even a little bit of, we're not going to ignore Jesse from Jesse and the Rippers forever. In this, you get the original version with Dennis Wilson singing. Dennis Wilson seemed to be, you know, the, the cool, uh, the cool cat of the bunch. Not to say they all were and cool, but. Even in this poster, that if you are looking straight ahead, to be able to see um, Brian Wilson and just with that beard and just to hear how his 70s went when everyone else was trying to record and he's actually in his bedroom um, while they're recording in the studio in his house. Um, but some of these songs, Little Deuce Coop, um, they stick with you a little bit. Um, also sticks with you is just the story, the story of how honestly sad and pathetic their father was and how he sold the rights of their songs a long time ago and you hear all those songs and commercials or movies of the beach boys they have not benefited from that um really interesting to hear uh dig into this documentary it is a very awesome slice of uh just a little bit more of a band um as stated by some of the reviewers i'll state the same thing wish they spent a little bit more time into the 70s and the 80s of the band it's 20 years of, of stuff that they were doing kind of flew by that material i mean of course they stick a lot into the 60s but i wish there was a little bit more footage there was a little bit more sharing of that but uh it's you know it's 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 these documentaries are, I'm a big fan because you'll always see a little something, hear a little something, um, and you'll, you'll learn a little bit more. And, you know, going through some of these albums that just kind of, um, sink into the, uh, sink into the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sinking into the, uh, the, uh, zeitgeist of society. You're saying to yourself, um, you know, is any of this stuff really, really worth dipping into? and worth checking more out and honestly some of it is you know and we're looking into it because for the show but uh wild honey there's this, this live version from uh, carnegie hall when uh, blondie chapman joins the band really really funky you got the bongo drums um really really cool um to hear the band kind of a little bit w under the uh, direction of carl wilson who sadly passed away it's just a really too young of an age because you say to yourself if carl and dennis would have lived longer um i think they would have been able to get uh they these guys would have started doing some more stuff and it's just sad how their story kind of wrapped up and it's all in this documentary um after seeing this documentary i want to see some more documentaries like this i want to see a, a kinks documentary that is is like this a little you know the kinks are always on the mind and digging a little bit more into the kinks and seeing a little bit more of kind of uh, what what would that look like um, has my mind rolling. But uh, check this documentary out. Um, there is footage there that is not easily found and you do not get to see it every day. So it's definitely really worth the price of, 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 of admission if you have Disney+. Plus. Um, but uh, 
thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Um, please, 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 please go back and check out all the all the awesome old 70 episodes that there are if you are um, down to listen to just different types of artists and interviews and this is and that's we got a lot of cool awesome stuff that here on the network we're going to be dropping on the daily um tomorrow it's there's going to be an awesome awesome um furiosa review that i'd like you to check out please um go back and check out this last week's um at the show broadcast we did beverly hills cop still have the heat is on by glenn fry stuck in my head um, please, 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 um, check out, um, this reason it's getting, um, drafty in here where it's my main man, um, who gave me this amazing Jersey. Again, I can't stop talking about this coolness. Um, magnificent stand, awesome basketball draft. Uh, but just keep the lookout on lots of cool stuff. Um, good. We're going to start here, hook up on the music, start pumping out some, some articles, check those out. Um, until the next time, everybody, um, let us know what you've been listening to. Um, let us know what you've been listening to. Um, I'm sure next week we're going to have some more awesomeness for you. So until that next time, everybody, my name is Tony. Um, I am the Sugar Baggy, and we will talk again soon. Please get out there and jam. Take care, everybody. Good night. Good night.